title, Understanding the Legal Phrase Color of Law Introduction, host, welcome back to our legal series, where we explore various legal concepts and phrases. Today, we will dive into the term color of law. This phrase holds significant importance in the legal field, especially when discussing cases involving government officials and law enforcement. So, let's explore the meaning and implications of color of law in today's episode. Segment 1. Definition and Regentist. To begin, let's start with the definition of color of law. Color of law refers to the appearance or semblance of legal authority. Even if the action taken is not lawful under the constitution or statutes, it is a legal term used to describe situations where someone, typically a government official, exercises power that appears to be lawful but is, in fact, unconstitutional or illegal. The term color of law originated from the phrase color of office in English common law, which referred to acts done under the authority of public office. Segment 2, Examples and Application Shows. Now that we understand the definition, let's explore some examples to better grasp the concept. One common example of color of law is when a police officer exceeds their authority and engages in unlawful conduct, such as excessive force or false arrest. In such cases, the officer may be acting under the appearance of their lawful duties but is actually violating an individual's constitutional rights. This abuse of power falls under the color of law category. Post. Another example is when a government official discriminates against individuals or groups based on their race, religion, or other protected characteristics. Even if the official's actions appear to be within the scope of their authority, if they are intentionally violating constitutional rights, it is considered acting under the color of law. Segment 3. Legal Consequence Shows Acting under the color of law is a serious offense and can and lead to legal consequences. Victims of such actions can seek legal remedies, including filing civil lawsuits against the individuals or entities involved. Section 1983 of the United States Code allows individuals to sue for damages when their constitutional rights have been violated under the color of law. Conclusion Post As we conclude today's episode, we have explored the meaning and implications of the legal phrase color of law. Remember, it represents the appearance of legal authority when actions are, in fact, unconstitutional or illegal. Understanding this concept is crucial in protecting individuals' rights and ensuring accountability for those who abuse their positions of power. Host, thank you for joining us today. Stay tuned for more episodes where we unravel complex legal concepts and make them more accessible to all. Until next time, take care and stay informed.